Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to my very last FIFA video until September. Because I am launching a brand new series from September this year until June 2019 called Troll Goals. I am not the only Call of Duty YouTuber that has been considering to upload an additional FIFA series because the game is fantastic and it also offers longevity to your YouTube channel. What I am planning personally is the exact same thing as what you are watching in the background at this moment. A weekly highlight summary of every match day in my Premier League tournament for the new 2018-2019 season. The final scores will be added, a nice newspaper headline will be added to describe the key thought of the match and the professional camera ensures that you can feel the realistic vibe of playing football in a massive English stadium in front of a large crowd. It's amazing how the pro camera adds that much more to the matches. And when I say that I do not only mean the atmosphere but I also mean the difficulty level of playing. Even a simple back pass can include risks if you're not aware of your position and against top 6 clubs you pay cash. But it puts the focus more on the move of the individual player that you are controlling at the moment. It assists you for trying to come up with that nice magic trick to go past the defender and go for glory. But the biggest reward with the pro cam is getting those injury time wins. Every noob can pass a ball around and fire away for the far post from any angle he desires, but this camera view forces you to make the correct choice. Calculating depth gets a whole other name now, because it's very hard not to run straight into an enemy defender. Defending against a counter-attack also becomes more difficult, because any bad move might result in a shot at goal or a free kick. The only thing that I noticed that might have been improved by EA is that the enemy goalkeeper's awareness on long balls is rather limited. He does not leave his goal for anything, a big contrast to FIFA 16. Goalkeepers were practically flying all over the place in FIFA 16. But again, the depth adjustment makes up for that, as do the defenders that keep interrupting your run for the goal. It makes every single goal that you score, any fabulous move that you do or any measured cross a memorable moment and therefore this game gives me goosebumps with every single match that I play. My happiness and excitement about the Premier League in general can easily result in a stunning 38 episode series. However, both gamers as real football managers have one big problem in the middle of the season, the January transfer window. With all these players moving teams, you basically have a brand new team that will continue the actual season. Well, my solution is easy, just come up with a brand new way of playing the Premier League. Play 19 match days on FIFA 18 in a tournament where you control all the 20 teams and the club that ends up on top after 19 games earns a spot in the playoff final. Round 2 starts in February with the new transfers and lineups and takes place on FIFA 19 on the condition that FIFA 19 is a better game than FIFA 18 of course. New tournament, new start from zero points for everyone and another 19 games. The two winners get an additional final video and that will conclude the Troll Goals Premier League after 38 weekly Friday videos from September until June 2019. If you are a person that always dreamt of doing a long term FIFA series either in co-op Ultimate Team or up-to-date weekend fixtures, wink wink, I'm at ESW. 
just do it. Weekly Monday Black Ops 4 and Battlefield videos will remain the big custom habit, probably with different weapons, maps, game modes or challenges. It's gonna be one big lottery when Black Ops 4 kicks off. Enjoy the summer, enjoy the rest of the World War II story until September, and I'll see you then for Friday Football. Peace.